Uh, we basically we, we manufacture um, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. We manufacture the liquids and we fill them. And obviously finished products. Uh, we've got roughly 3,000 pallet spaces at the moment. Um, we have roughly 150 pallets a day coming in and roughly the same going out. We're always full. Um, I think last time I checked on the transactions, I think we were doing something like 30,000 transactions. We use it. Uh, for all stock control, um, we use it for good receipting um, from goods in. We use it on dispatch, for dispatch obviously. Uh, we use work to order receipt uh, on the bulk liquid and on the finished product. Um, it's every bin transaction we receive it from using the bins. Um, basically, anything that's on stock is barcoded and all transactions are done on the goods. So, there's no, there's no room for error. We were having liquids coming out of manufacturing pallet. They were being put into the racking and they were writing on cards. And then I come in in the morning and had to manually update the system from these cards. When I got them, and when they were filled in correctly. But when we went over to work to order receipting, we created a new Palacon label for manufacturing, um, which is basically barcoded. It's got the works order number, the product code, and the lot number are all barcoded. So as the Palacon comes out, the lads just scan the works order, scan the product code, scan the lot number, enter the quantity, it prints us the unique ID label, and stick it on the Palacon. It's on the system live, and it's put away. So since we started using it, I've never lost a Palacon. So it, again, it's, it's simplified my life. Last time I checked, we were up at 99.8%. Good. Um, we use the perpetuals. Um, we do 200 a month. So, and we have a full cycle. Every stock item is checked at least once a week. Um, I'd say in a week, probably three discussions. say when we were doing the perpetuals manually I wasn't finding out about the mistakes you know because they were called ID them up before I found out but then we were but there were a lot of location errors um, this perpetual system fixes them at that point when, when they scan the location if it's not in it and it's in the next location the, perpet the, the program itself will move it as part of the count so there's no having to write on pieces of paper and then coming back up to me and saying can you give this to this location it's, it's, it's already been in the entire program which is great um, the auditors love it you know because I can produce a report saying these items have been counted it's blind so the lads will enter the program in the gun select the cards they're going to count, it will send them to a location, say they count that location, gives them nothing else. So they're not going to count what they expect to find, which is brilliant. This is a lot more accurate, a lot uh, more secure, I think is the best way to put it. So when I when I get the count back, if I'm not happy with it, I can send it back to the front. Um, I've never had to do that. Um, and it is with this literally a case of I'm happy with that count as, and it does all the adjusts and everything else. So I'm happy with it. As I say the auditors love it. Um, with the old manual system they used to pick me to death with it, you know, and really go through it in depth and I'd spend hours looking through it just you know, double checking everything. With this system because they can see it blind, they just look at the reports and go like I got audited last week, it took 15 minutes. Before, it was taking an hour and a half, two hours. If they found a problem, it was an audit. I was in a meeting yesterday, 
um, and the manufacturing manager that was there. Um, we were actually talking about batch number references because we were looking at changing how we report uh, all of the batch numbers. Because at the moment they're manually created by QC and the machines were docking. You're, there's too much, too many steps in the step chain for things to go wrong. And I'm like, well, the system will do that for us. We don't need to create these batch numbers. The system will do it for us. And whilst we were in this meeting, the, the warehouse, uh, the manufacturing manager actually followed me and asked me when we were putting the guns in manufacturing so they could do work to our issues. And I'm like, I'm going to jet lag for them. Because <laughs> then I'm not having to get the dockets every morning and you know, go manually go through all these dockets and issue raw materials to finish bottles or full liquids. You know, so you know, it, it, it literally will be the warehouse will send the raw materials into the manufacturing room. Well, they will scan the raw materials for the works order that's on the way. You know, there's, there's no, where's this raw material that's been in manufacturing for two days? We know it was used two days ago, we just don't know about it yet. Yeah, if we can barcode information onto a label, it just streamlines everything. And as I say, the lads don't have to worry that they're doing it wrong. The lads have screen of the gun so they know that they've got the right pallet, they know that they're in the right location. And the inquiry screens get used a hell of a lot. Where they, you know, they'll rather than go to the computer and look in Sage to see where products are stored, they just go and look. And you know, again it's a time saver. Because they're on they're still on the truck down the other end of the warehouse. They've not had to come all the way back to the computer to look something. an episode a couple of months back where our wireless switch died it went bang it was you know, three days with no wireless network uh, so everything was back to the old way and um, it was chaos it really was and it was mark at data links because uh, i phoned him up and you know we don't whenever we got the wireless network things were going in the first place but i'm like who do, who do i ask so I, I actually phoned him up and asked him if he could supply us with a new wireless network. And he actually phoned me back and said, as it happened, Tom, we've got one of those old switches in the cupboard. So, you know, within 24 hours it was here. And he, uh, he set it all up for me. You know, I sent him all, all our details and he set it all up for me. And it was literally out of the box, plug it in, and went back up. And I've never seen the last so relieved. You know, when, when we first started using Guns. The lads were a bit reticent, you know, but me, scary. Um, I'd say within a couple of weeks, you know, you'll, you'll see, within a couple of weeks they were all happy and they all love it. And you'll see them come in, it used to be they'd come in, have a cup of coffee, sit and gossip and then do the port lift checks and then go and get the gun. But now you'll see that they're walking, the first thing they do is get the gun. I can't remember the last time I had a phone call saying, Colin, where's this? So people, people, people are seeing the benefits we've had and they're now saying, well, what can it do for us? You know, so it's getting there. It's, it took a couple of years, but I think another, another six months and uh, my wife will be even better. <laughs> no, it's, it's um, for me, it's, it was money well spent and it's, it, it's made my life so 